Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over installing a European short shifter on a Mark 7 GTI. So here we have our bracket. We have the battery tray out. Uh, this is mostly so that you can see, you should be able to actually replace this shift lever with the battery still installed in the vehicle with just the intake removed. But we're just doing this so that you can see as best possible. So we can start by removing this clip and you can use either a pick or a small screwdriver, pop that up and then slide that out of the way. Make sure you don't lose that and pop this up and get that out of the way. Now this, the end, new end link will come with the new shifter. Okay, so now we're gonna take off this white plastic clip. This holds this from, from moving out, this bracket. So we're gonna pop that up. All you have to do is spread it and then pop it up. If you take a look here, what you're doing is getting these detents spread open this way and then just pull it past and then you can slide this out like so. Now we're gonna loosen our 13 that actually mounts this in place. So now we're gonna take this bracket off. Now, this has been off of our vehicle before, so this is gonna be a lot easier to take off. When you're taking it off for the first time, it's gonna be very difficult. So what you're gonna to need to do is kind of rock it um, back and forth to try to get it past there and then it'll slide off like that. You're gonna need to kind of break it loose from this because it is splined and it's on there pretty good. Also something to keep in mind, this can only go on one way. So you don't need to like paint mark it or anything when you're taking it off to verify that you have in the correct orientation. So now we're going to take off this cable end. The new uh, shifter pieces include includes one. And so what we're gonna do is take that and pull it and okay so once we when you're taking this end link off just so we can show you a little bit closer up what you're going to do is slide it forward and then turn it and then if you take a look there are these teeth inside here that basically grab on to the threads on that cable and that's how it's mounted in place now when you're mounting the new one in place it's going to come like this already you're going to slide it onto the cable turn it and then slide it off Okay, so here we have the two shifter brackets. Obviously, they're flips upside down. Here is the factory one, and then underneath where we have the uh, short shift, the OEM short shift that we're installing on the vehicle. Now, the main point that I wanted to make about this when you're looking at them is if you look at where the cable that we took off mounts in place, you can see this one is mounted further out on the shifter, and this one is a little bit closer in. So. That's gonna help us get the shorter and tighter effect on our short shift setup. And, uh, and just wanna point that out. Okay, so now we're going to install our new short shifter. And one note that you wanna do is install the cable into the new selector, into the new end before you install the rest. If you don't do that, you'll have to actually take this link off here before trying to install it the rest of the way which is an option, just not what you're looking for. Again, keep in mind, this has a flat spot on it that basically only lines up one direction and that is now mounted in place. We're gonna get some grease and we're gonna grease this bracket a little bit so that everything's gonna slide smoothly in here. You're gonna want something that's gonna stay and not melt away after a short time. And then we can mount our clip back in place. And then we can put this nut on. Now one important note I really want to make about this, this I can't stress this enough. We've heard about people installing short shifters on their cars and over tightening this and snapping this stud off. This is not a big stud and it doesn't need to be super tight. It's to be tightened to 25 newton meters. So we're just gonna snug it up and then we'll torque it to, to 25 newton meters.
All right, there we are. Now, again, I can't stress enough, if you break this stud off, you're going to have to have this whole unit replaced, which is inside the transmission. That's going to be a really expensive ordeal, and you should be really careful when tightening that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to check out more like it. For more information about the products featured in this video, check out our website at shopdap.com.